almost felt like breathing down my neck. Why do you remain here? Family. My soul has been stolen. We should That's a video in the making if I've ever heard one. Yes. Ooh. I've just gone chilled all over my body. I'm f terrified. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Dude here, I am back with another video. I'm joined once again by Scott Bailey and Meyer, and today we are in 30 East Drive. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. It's blurry. That's it. This is the ghosts. <laughs> nah. Right, we're going to do a sweep. This is how we're going to do it. We've, we've got like a formula from Ancient Ram in. And I've just sort of like basically realised, you know, we haven't been through it yet, so this is pretty yeah. grim. We're going to do a sweep, first first time sweeping the I've building. I've already heard a noise. <laughs> I thought it was the door. But I've just moved the door again, it didn't make it a big creak. Mm. All right, brilliant. Which I don't know if it would have been picked up on your camera because it was in this direction. Right, so I'll look back at the footage. A formula from Ancient Ram Inn. A formula from Ancient Ram Inn. Mm -hmm. This place it. is very, what do you call it, 60s, 70s? Did you just say something? No. Shut up. Right, let's all go dead silent. I, I just heard someone say, I heard a, literally, and I thought it was you, f like trying to chime in about something. No. I fucking hate this place. <laughs> this this place it. does feel pretty gnarly. My Am I right in thinking, you know there's that viral TikTok slash YouTube short of the cleaner lady and it's all, everything's been yeah, that's Carol. That's Carol. And that, that's, that's it. That's it. Stairs. That was Carol who that's we were Carol that to. did the Facebook Live, yeah. Maya did a reaction to it on her stream the other yeah. week. I feel, what do you call it? Starstruck. Starstruck. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, Fred, if this is you, piss off. Open door. What the fuck was that? It's not funny when you... On you, Todd. Emma, open door for me. The... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm off to the top of the stairs. Right, let's go so up the stairs. Just to clarify, marbles there. Ah, okay. okay. Right, so, so marbles yeah, there. Yeah, film them. them. Yeah. Four One, two, three, four. And they're on the things. Someone's tried to eat the plastic fruit. The plastic fruit was something on their website where one of Cal's, I want to say it was either grandkids or just a kid in the house, a strange, dark, tall man gave them a piece of fruit to eat and it was the plastic fruit. That's why there's a bite mark out of there. Sorry? Oh my God, somebody's made a penis out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've also made a massive error in that if anything goes down tonight and we have to sprint, I've decided to go for, <laughs> for, for, for sliders, so... Brand new shoes. Nice. <sighs> right, okay, let's, let's go upstairs and not fall up or down the stairs. Okay, so yeah, so this is the building then. So where, where she was cleaning. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's, it's not very intimidating right now because it is five o'clock, six o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I, you know, I love my baths. I wouldn't be against it. We've been warned against looking in the mirrors, so of course we're going to be looking in the mirrors. I want to get every angle of these mirrors because obviously with the ancient ram in, we didn't see the word demon written on the mirrors the whole time we were there. Look at this, jewel, jewel, wow. jewel. Uh, the whole time we were there and then in the dying moments of the investigation we see the word demon and then minutes later it's rubbed off, so... What's he doing on the floor then? I want to really pay attention to the mirrors today. Uh, it was on the floor and I stood on Boiler. Very nice, very nice. I'd say, looking back at the Ancient Ram Inn video, the, the first sweep, we were so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Our lives hadn't ended. Yeah. Definitely. Is that asbestos? Definitely. Don't break the that is, isn't it? 100% so. without a doubt. No, it's fucking not. There's a lot of stab, no, there's a lot of stab marks. I did asbestos training as part of work two weeks ago. Anything built before the 1990s pretty much is asbestos, ceiling wise. That's a nice dress. Hopefully the asbestos well, on, stays in one place. Really as long as you don't disturb it, it's fine. fine. Okay. 
Oh, I thought is it was blood. blood. <laughs> Every video is that blood. Is that blood? Is that blood on the wall? Is that blood? Is that yeah, definitely not. Yeah. There are so many. Uh, this she shit herself. Oh, right. Now, when we are doing this today, okay, we will be doing solo vigils. We just are. Okay, we, but full disclosure, we did uh, bust out the, uh, the, the angel ram in doing solos because it just got so scary. But here it's happening. So did what? you film the mirrors in here? Are we not I being mean, consistent? Oh, well, good point, jeez. One thing I will Let's say. Let's just have a look. good look. Make sure there's no writing. What are you saying, Scott? All of the doors up here are open. Yeah. Other than that end room, other than Philip's room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. I thought that was the. I thought that was the girls' room. I think maybe. Right. I've there got is no writing. I'll double check. On any of these mirrors. Also, burn. those dolls are horrible. Yeah, they ridiculous. are. I think this is Emma's room. Maybe one of them's Emma. This is definitely Emma's room. Oh, that picture. Not Emma. Emma wasn't the girl in the house. Of course she was. Disgusting. Yeah. That's rude. I mean, sorry, Emma. <laughs> oh man, I mean. Oh my word. Yeah. Why is she crying in the picture? Oops. That's oh, horrible. That's one of those crying child paintings. Well, yeah, them, them famous crying yeah, child paintings. That thing? It's a thing. So there was a specific um, crying boy painting. Right. That I don't know if it's an urban legend. It's one of those things I've not looked into enough, but I know roughly of. Right. They used to sell them. Oh, okay. Um, a certain guy sold them, and apparently they used to spontaneously combust. And they just combust. And apparently they just catch fire and burn the house down. That's a video in the making, if ever I've heard one. Which I don't know if it's actually a thing. But that's mental. H is for horse. Yeah, Have we checked that all the windows are closed? Uh, no. I believe it is. Is that shut? Yeah. yeah. So if there's any like yeah. bloody blowies, then I'll be having a good time. Well, hey, <laughs> Bunter! If there's any uh, curtains blowing in the wind, then we know it's not us because there's no wind. A man died in the bathroom. Sorry? A man died in the bathroom. Uh, scared to. The, what? The guy that owned the house, the yeah. one who got locked in the coal shed downstairs, yeah. uh, died in this room. Oh, is that the dad of the family? The dad of the family who didn't believe it at first and then, as more things happened, it took his life. What the fuck was that? What? what? <laughs> Are you alright? I need to go home. I literally just heard something go... As more things happened. Is there any history of a cat here? It, was, it wasn't like a cat noise. It wasn't. It was like a... I can't, I can't describe it, but it was definitely a, a noise from something. Oh, Is that off limits? I'm not going up there anyway. No. But I've seen a few people check it. Uh, Nick from Ghost Adventures checked it, and while he was looking in there, the grandfather clock behind you fell over to try and push him off the banister. To try and push him off the banister. What? That was in the Paranormal Lockdown UK episode. He um, oh, yeah, he climbed up on the banister to just stick a camera. So basically, what you're trying to say, Scott, is that everything in here wants to get us? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Nicole, the bar. Uh, if if people haven't watched. The Q and A video. Don't know what you were doing, but if you haven't, what was your dream, Scott? Uh, I don't remember the details, man. Yeah. Basically, we all died. We all died um, in this building. He's just trying to remember the order. So, so, so it was, Bailey was chucked out the window. Bailey was chucked out the window. You were pushed down the stairs. Excellent. You had your neck snap. And I was drowned. And you drowned in the bath. I feel. I was drowned here. Very uneasy about standing with my back uh, against the stairs <laughs> after hearing yeah. that somebody falls. So I just don't stand near a window. Did you say that you had a dream as well, like yesterday? Oh yeah, that something <laughs> grabbed my ankle from behind a curtain and then ran up the stairs. Which yes. actually freaks me out because at the bottom of the stairs is a full-length curtain, so. Oh, that's mate. horrific. I didn't well, know, we know that. what you're doing. You're I didn't solo. Know, I didn't know where that, what, what that <laughs> was before. Yeah, because you've not Jesus. looked into anything here. I don't look into anything, no. Scott. I just turn up. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what I do. Yeah, see, I hold exact, the camera the and just turn up. I'm the exact opposite. We're, uh, we're being braver today as well, see? Aren't we? We're yes. going to yes. tackle the demons head on. <laughs> was that oh, the Oh, God. Right. Anyone notice that on the first walkthrough? 
was a ball. ball on, there's a ball in the corner. We'll be able to see it when we go. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. I didn't see it. I mean, that's quite a noticeable. I, yeah, I thought that's not the one that was on the piano, is it? No, that was. No, it's all the orange. <laughs> Double check. Oh, the coal shed. The coal oh, hall. Yeah. Yes, we haven't looked in there yet, have we? So we've got this in here. Oh. You can see me there. Hello there. Yes, this is the coal shed, which apparently we should sit in for like 20 minutes. No. And in the video that I watched, I was reacting to. Hang on. Where? Oh, I see. I was trying to oh, figure there's a out. There's there that we didn't look at. So he came out of here, and that shadow figure went from that pretty much where that ball is across, yeah. As Neil exits the downstairs cupboard, something can be seen moving past the kitchen doorway. The black figure moves very quickly out of sight. Been very commonly reported that the black monk of Pontefract appears as a black shadow very often. Let us know in the comments if you would ever step foot into 30 East Drive. I'm stepping foot in there this fucking week. Oh. So from there it would have been. Oh. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Oh, that was very accurate, Scott. There's been a lot of shadow figures spotted here. Uh, so we've got the kitchen area. And and the living room area, which is is there been much spotted, you know, in the living room? Because this, um, other than the famous or infamous uh, kitchen knife that most haunted so call, but I don't really buy. I want to say the same paranormal lockdown episode where the clock fell over upstairs. Yeah, they had a static cam set up in that corner. Right. Uh, and I think I think it was this room. Yeah. Where they caught something run past that glass door. I believe it was this cool. It is actually quite rank how it is frosted glass though. Yeah, yeah frosted glass is not cool. Okay. What are your first initial thoughts, Jordan? Um yeah, this 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 is this is not nice. It's got a strange feel to it. I don't know if it's because you know it's a bit old. There's asbestos in it, so this is quite literally a deadly building. But yeah, after I think what's done me in is I was reacting to for are you right? I didn't know he was there. Oh. <laughs> it was a it's shadow. The camera. Camera. It's the camera. You didn't say it. It's the camera. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm really you know, re Reacting to a video of a place here and seeing the shadow figure like two days ago or yesterday. Oh, was that? Oh, yeah, that's all. That was, yeah. So that's kind of put me in a nasty place, um, especially as I think that video is new, as in like. Recent. The compilation is recent, but I think the actual video taken is only a few days ago. But yeah, so, hmm. But it's going to be interesting. Obviously, it's still daytime, so when it gets to night time, that's when it's really going to... Kick off. Yeah, get funky. Maya, how are you feeling? I, honestly, I don't know if it was the like, intro with Carol or, or whatever, but the, just from the minute of being in here, it just feels fucking... It feels horrible. Like, there's a proper... There's... <sighs> With the RAM, I would say for at least the first six to eight hours, I felt absolutely fine. I didn't feel like things watching me, nothing like that. The end of the night, a bit different, but the minute that you walk in here, even though it's six in the afternoon, daylight, windows open, not a problem. There's like eight of us in the room because Carol and a couple of other people were walking us around. But the second you come in this house, I don't, it's not the same for you guys, but I feel fucking horrible. I hate it here. Don't like it. Also, I just want to say, because it's very important, we have the key to this house and the front door is locked and has to be locked at all times it's unless we well. want to... Oh, it's latched, it's just yeah. a Yale I've as well. A, not a, oh, a, a... What do you call bolt. them? We'll yeah, literally show, we'll, we'll we'll show them the door. But the point is, it's just us in this building and we're locked in, so yeah. Scott, mm. how are you feeling? Not terrible right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know, there's definitely an eerie feeling but I don't quite no yet mm. it's like I've not nothing's happened yet yeah really and it's sort of a the second something happens I think the feeling's going to completely change yeah but it's just that initial waiting for the first thing to really kick off yeah Bailey uneasy mate <laughs> uneasy oh, off the bat mate uneasy like the ram chilled all night like no problems whatsoever coming in here just straight away just gives me a rank feel just yeah just a really rank feel as if like there is something just like Wrong creeping with the building. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just creeping around waiting to jump out, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like we catch you on camera. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so I am sat in the living room of 30 East Drive. Originally a council house in Pontefract, West Yorkshire, 30 East Drive is a well-known, incredibly popular paranormal hotspot. According to a few articles, this place is the third most haunted place in the country, but it houses the most violent poltergeist in Europe. In August of 1966, the Pritchard family moved into this house. This was Jean and Joe and their two children, Philip and Diane. It didn't take long for them to begin experiencing strange paranormal phenomena. Philip and his grandmother actually witnessed a strange chalk-like substance falling from the ceiling. However, the origin couldn't be traced. Now, in an attempt to clean this chalky substance from the floor, Philip's auntie went down into the kitchen, which is just beside me, and she fell over on a mysterious pool of water on the floor. Now, what is even stranger is attempts to mop up this water from the floor failed every single time. Every time they tried to mop it, it seemed to just magically reappear. Now in the years following this there were many different paranormal incidents including green foam coming out of the plumbing, lights being turned on and off, cupboards being slammed as well as photographs weirdly being slashed by what would appear to be knives. Now at the top of the stairs there is a grandfather clock and on one particular occasion the grandfather clock seemingly fell and slid down the stairs. There have been objects in this house levitate and been thrown across rooms or at people. And there is a poltergeist in this house, seemingly the source of all of this activity. Known locally as Fred or the Black Monk of Pontefract. The local press quite disturbingly dubbed him Mr. Nobody. As I said earlier, this poltergeist is considered to be so malevolent, so violent that it has earned the title of the most violent poltergeist in Europe. People have had their faces slapped, things thrown at them, they've been shoved down the stairs, and probably in the most extreme case recorded, Diane, the daughter of the family, was dragged up the stairs by her throat, leaving red hand marks on her neck. Now Fred, or the Black Monk of Pontefract, is rumoured to be a monk from the 16th century. It is believed that the monk assaulted and murdered a young girl who goes by the name of Emma, and it's believed that Emma is also in this house. Now the Black Monk of Pontefract, or Fred, was hung at a gallows for this crime, and it is believed that the gallows is where East Drive now exists. So there we go guys, that is 30 East Drive, the history of this very dark and seemingly evil building. Will we find anything today that will prove that the paranormal exists? We will have to wait and see. Let's begin the investigation. Okay, so we just finished the live stream, if you haven't watched that, go and watch it. But um, we come downstairs and Maya and Scott, I've told them off for not recording this. But apparently there was a dude banging at the door, being quite aggressive, wanting to come in. Now, Carol has warned us to lock the door because of that. Apparently it happens a lot. Well, we can actually read this door. Come with me. So, important night notice. 30 East Drive has a strict no Ouija boards. Gutted. I bought a new Ouija board, can't use it. Uh, rules, we don't wish to exacerbate the situation. Anyone found abusing this rule will be ejected from the property and blacklisted on our website. And obviously we want to come back, so we're not going to do that. Important notice, uh, please treat 30 East Drive like your own home and tidy up after yourselves, all that good stuff. You're allowed to record this one. Polite notice, once all guests have arrived, lock the door and do not let anyone that knocks into the property. In case of uninvited guests before 11, contact Carol. After 11, call the police. If the knocking comes from inside the property, it's too late. It's in, i.e. something in the building. But unfortunately, we did have someone aggressively try to get in. So the door is locked. Um, but yeah, it's quite weird because obviously, you know, we do the abandoned building stuff and you're worried about, you know, who's about, who's in there. And you come to a secure location. But I guess these places just draw people. You know, I don't know if people want to 
free entry. They think, oh, people are paid to get in there so I can kind of intimidate my way in. But yeah, scary stuff. So not only are we, do we need to be concerned about what's inside the building, uh, we need to be concerned about what's trying to get inside the building. Joy. Before I continue, guys, I just want to give a shout out to the patron of the day, which is Bradley Corey. Basically, guys, if you want to become a patron, the Patreon, all of the funds raised on there go into these investigations. So it's as little as a pound a month, plus there's lots of bonus content, loads of behind the scenes stuff on there every single week. And also, in this video today, we're doing what we did at the Ancient Ram Inn. We'll be taking Polaroids everywhere, and I'll be signing one of them, giving it away to one person down below. All you have to do is comment what you thought was the creepiest part of this video, as well as be subscribed and liked and all that good stuff. Okay, comment down below. What was the creepiest part of this video? Okay, so I've got a little surprise for everyone in this episode and it's gonna be something continuing going forward. We have a new member of the team. Yeah? Yes, please come through. Do you know about this one? Maybe. <laughs> oh. Now this is all, there's nothing that I'm aware of, like haunted or anything. We're gonna take this doll to every haunted location. If things attach itself to it, things attach itself to it. Thought it'd be a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're definitely- Not got a name though. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, might, I don't know if it's just blood, but yeah, not got a name. So in the comments, if you want to name the doll. Um, but yeah, so could have the next Annabelle on her hands. <laughs> well, it's things you inspire to get, isn't it really? <laughs> <laughs> Come here often. How are you doing? What are the what what are the stains? I don't know. Were they there when you got it? Yeah, no. So Where did it come from, I suppose, is the other question. Well, well basically, yeah. I did we had a load of stuff that we wanted to get rid of. My auntie was doing a car boot, so I went and done a car boot with her. She was trying to sell that and I was like, ah I love I'll it. take it with me. So Brilliant. Look at that. Fucking! Oh, what's that noise? So it just blinks at me. <laughs> yeah, let us know what the name is down below. We're just coming in. Oh god, all right. <coughs> Still inhaled. <laughs> quick, quick break. Sorry. Yeah, quick break. Don't smoke, kids. Um. Well, <laughs> when, when we come, when we come in here, we said it smelled like fresh, fresh cigarettes, and we've been going outside to do our smoking and there's actually a roll up in here which wasn't in here before which is probably why it smells so and none of us smoke roll ups none of us smoke roll ups so just uh, make of that as what you will you know? <laughs> okay so there was a segment i wanted to do in the ancient ramen it was from destination fear and what that is is they all split off solo and they go and spend some time in certain rooms in the building by themselves. They have walkie talkies to communicate if they need to and they each have a camera. And the idea is that you get so scared that the demons or the ghost feeds off of that fear and it allows them to manifest better, right? But full disclosure, we got too scared in the ancient Ram Inn. So what <laughs> we're doing is we're gonna do it now before we get too scared by this building. So I have put in this camera bag the coal shed, this living room, Philip's room and Diane's room. And they'll all be in pitch black. We will only have a night vision camera trained on us and just you can talk to the camera as much as you want or as little as you want call out to things as much as you want or as little as you want. Try to refrain from using the walkie talkie unless you need someone to come to you or you are just that fucking scared. Okay, right, I'm, I will take the last piece of paper. Are we gonna open who wants, it? Who wants to go, yeah, you gotta open it, so you gotta pick it and then open it. Who wants to go first? Can I go first? Yes, take, take one. If I've... I get cold shed, I'm going home. I'm just gonna <laughs> put it out there now. Right, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look how much I'm shaking. Oh I've screwed them up really good to increase the tension. Yeah, is there any need for this? Oh, Philip's room. Philip's oh. room. Oh. Philip, right, who wants next? I'll go, I'll go next. 
Scott, are you okay? Hmm. I know for a fact. We're conquering fears what today. What I'm holding is definitely the coal shed. <laughs> the coal shed it. is the one no one wants. Ideally, before you do that, ideally, what would you guys want? I know you've just got Philip's room. I would have wanted Philip's room, 100%. That's that one. Yeah, Philip's it? room's not too bad. Diane's room's pretty shocking. I want this living room. I want the, I living, want the living room. I also wouldn't be against the living room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's opening. Fucking told ya. I knew it. What did I tell you? I knew it would be the coal shed. What did I tell you? Poor bastard. Oh, oh baby. Yeah. Well, I might pick one. Sense that. Anything after this isn't scary. Yeah. I don't care what I get now. Well, my die answer is pretty grim. Yeah, but if you get the fucking liver room, this is rigged. <laughs> what have you got, Scott? Scott's got the living oh, room, which so means, can you just take this so that it, everything is above board? I've just picked this out of here. This should be Diane's room. It's if it's not, again. then it's Fred. It's the <laughs> I have Diane's room, which is pretty grim, um, but not as bad as the coal shed. Okay, all right. Oh, I've got to be in here with her. Yep. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. Our new member of the team who hasn't been named yet. Um, okay. Mrs. Nobody. Oh, Lights out, nobody. night vision only. Can we not do that? I don't want to do that. I'm so scared of the dark. This is going to suck. <laughs> Bailey's just found out that everyone who goes in the coal shed gets attacked. Yeah. I think it's probably best to go for a shit before. Philip's <laughs> <laughs> room, just to, because I don't think my scared enough, um, is the room that Diane got dragged up the stairs into. Yes! And it's also the room that Carl got dragged into. Love that. Yes. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take right. my coal shed. <laughs> right. You know they, have the, they all gathered around the table? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay, this sucks. All right. 15 minutes and we're out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. My camera's rear. Uh, sorry, my... Oh, my fucking God. What? The door just opened by itself. No, it fucking didn't. I literally just, I can't hear anyone. Apparently everyone who sits in here does get attacked, so... Ooh. Is there something at the end of the bed? What the fuck is that? Nice fucking rocking chair. How fucking nice. This is what I'm looking at, currently. Absolutely fucking rank. This is, without a doubt, the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. You can hear the shaking in my voice. Um. <coughs> Did someone just knock upstairs? Sorry, I tapped on the bed. I think it's got shit in his pants. Genuinely, like, the feeling that you just get in this fucking house is insane. You can tell there's something here. Deathly quiet in here. Now, how much I'd have to be paid to stay in this house alone. I heard, I read, I was told that you are the most violent poltergeist in Europe. Bit weird that it's Europe and not the world. I don't know what poltergeist is uh, beating you. Why don't you use me to become the most violent poltergeist in the world? Why don't you push me off the bed, knock my hat off my head, punch me in the face. My arm is really stinging. I can't see anything. Oh, I just want to lift the camera back up. Oh. Is that you that just touched my arm? If you wanted to, you could kick me in the face. Something just touched my back. Oh, fucking hell. Did you just touch my back? Okay, so my other camera just died. And um, luckily I brought another one up here. And I just had to swap the memory cards over, but this one's already saying low battery, which is just nuts. But just as the camera was dying, I kept feeling something touching my back. <sighs> this is not nice in here. There's a knock outside in the corridor. Is that you out in the corridor? That's you, wouldn't you open the door again? Maybe I'm too intimidated, eh? Did I intimidate you? 
Well, I didn't get scratched, which oh, is great. Yeah, it's, so, it's yeah. Hello, Scott. Hello. How did you find it? Uh, nothing. Not yeah. even, not yeah. a knock. No. no. Right, okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do a little Polaroid sweep. See if we can catch anything in the background. Come Frederick, down. show yourself. Come on, Freddie. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Pretty Enjoy being at the back. The back of the Right, here we go. Round two. Nuts out and all. It's not up to that now. I'm not even getting a. Can you get one of me in the Well, it's not even. I've not got an inkling of a photograph. They do take a while to come yeah. through. Look, to have nothing. <laughs> you keep shaking it like a pool of void. Hey, hey, yeah. Nah, they start developing by now. Yeah, so so far, my soul has been stolen. Are we sure that wasn't on backwards? They can't go yeah, in backwards. Yeah, definitely, that's the back. No, oh. no, it can't go yeah. in backwards. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Are you off to? Take me! Push me! <laughs> Come on then, I'll have you. My hands are up, so if you push me now, I will probably smash my skull in. I am willing to take this commitment. Jordan just pushes you downstairs. <laughs> Sparta kicks me down. Yeah, this one's starting you know to what? develop. This is loading. That's going to be an absolutely diddly fuck. What? Why has it done that? Before. This one's obviously... That's a gangster picture, but why has it done that? That's really fucking creepy. Which means it's not the... Yeah, the camera's working. The camera's fine. Could it be from where we've attempted to use that one like four times previously? It's just shit itself. Mm. Possibly. Get back Unless on the stairs and take another one. Because we did try and. That's uh, a great should should we, I'll tell you what we should do. We should leave these photos on here because the photos um, in this house get knifed, don't they? Yeah. Right, if this one doesn't come out. Yeah. Then, oh, I would say it's got to be because we tried to take it. And that's what yeah. I'm thinking. That's but if I'm... this doesn't, then there's something wrong with these stairs. Go on, throw, throw the grandfather clock at Jordan if you didn't throw it in there. <laughs> oh, payback's a payback's a bit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I give you permission to throw that grandfather clock at Jordan. <laughs> Is it coming through? No. no. Not what? Yet. No. Not yet. We'll give it. We'll give it a minute. Oh, it's oh, okay, slowly. Yeah. It's yeah, slowly it's coming, coming through. Yeah, it must be something wrong with that Polaroid. Yeah. Must have just been I think thing, it's yeah. just we tried to use it. Right? Yeah, I would say that's, that mm. must be a thing. In the comments, if you know about Polaroid pictures, if you try to take one when the battery's dead, does it fuck up that picture? <laughs> that's it. No, look, twiddle. Sideways, oh, French girl pose. How are we doing? Looking sexy, baby girl. Accepting. Your eye contact's horrifying. Eye contact is not fun. Correct. Don't want to be my big face. Like uh, excuse Cattle me. Mad, by the way. Nice. Which actually was off. Who turned it back on? Yeah. I turned it back oh, on. Uh, I didn't touch it. Mate, no one moves. Is that you, Fred? Or Emma. Oh, yeah. If it is, touch it again, push it again, do something, do something, do something. Oh, okay. I did move. Okay. All right, everyone stay completely still. Okay, here we go. Fred or Emma, touch it, push it, move it. Bop it. Make it go off. Now move again, Scott. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah. So that move. That's all swaying. No, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking. weird. That is very weird. Should we try this? Yeah. Get mirror cool. right. I'm thinking. Wait. So do I? Do I want Jordan's face? You want just both. Jordan's face, ideally. So maybe. If I like there, this side. Yeah, the well, flash will then light from that side, and if you come in behind me. Wait, so am I getting Jordan and the reflection? Yeah. 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 Ideally without this. I don't think we need the light there, Scott, if I'm honest. No. Okay. If you hold it, sort of... What if I had it underneath? Yeah, have it underneath. Would that work? No. Hmm. What if I had yeah, it underneath? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hardly stand behind me, Scott. Yeah. That's it. Gnarly! 
What's yeah. that? What? There's one of those in Philip's room as well. Oh, the cup? No, the no, underneath the cup is like a weird black stone. I don't know. Weird. Isn't there a broken cup in the other room? Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon there's one underneath that? Should go look. Look at that, mate. So what does that mean? Get out of the way. What's there? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. 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 Nothing. Nothing. Why are there broken cups anyway? Yeah, broken styrofoam cups and a black stone underneath one of them. Can you move the stone from the other room that's under the cup? This marble. Under oh, this cup. Oh, you fucking slate. Up mm. down the stairs. <laughs> nice. That can be a jump scare. You're not in it, Scott. Am I not? Oh, no. You're in this, so don't worry. Heartbreaking. That's so rude. I was hoping that Fred was going to flip me over the banister. Okay, yeah. Let's come over you lad. Well, everyone was calling me a pussy last time and I'm not having it. Yeah, that wasn't very nice guys. So, so you like, no, Scott, don't be, don't be silly now. <laughs> yeah, I can't actually get up there without loop. It's coming. I wanna see this one. Yeah, same. I kinda wanna put the camera on the tripod and then lift uh, it up there. I really hope we get one too. of these one day. With just the smudge. Or some oh, kind is that of like a it's latch. Yeah. It's basically an Airbnb. You could just use it as an Airbnb. Uh, what? It might still be developing, but does it look a bit like is, shadowy at the bottom of the stairs? Mm -hmm. No, nah, it won't be. No, nah, you, you're up there in the light. It's not a chance yeah. it's your shadow, because it's like at the bottom of the stairs. Does it look shadowy to you? Yeah. Would you say that looks shadowy, Scott? Jeez, there's an awful lot of thigh in this picture. <laughs> we'll wait for it to develop a little bit more, but it looks a little bit shadow. Yeah, comment down below for a chance to win this one. Now this was my highlight from the Ancient Ram Inn. I won't lie. This time, Scott is going to take part in the Estes Method. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the Ancient Ram Inn, I just want a reminder. Last time we did the uh, the Estes method, I had a full conversation with Maya, who was doing it. Uh, behind. And when I was doing it, I heard someone say Scott's name. Scott. Hello. I heard someone say, Scott, you're in trouble. Right, don't panic. So it said Scott, and then it said you're in trouble. That's nice. When I heard Scott's voice. That's really weird. I don't know what it said. It's I don't know what it said, but it actually sounded like you, Scott. So uh it'll be interesting to see if and what we get today. For those of you that don't know what an Esther's method is, basically it's a spirit box which will cycle through radio stations and it like uses energy and stuff for the ghosts and to communicate yeah. through the radio Pretty waves. Much. Um it cycles through so fast that a coherent sentence shouldn't be possible. So if you do hear words, then it's supposed to be of a paranormal nature. Uh, we have noise cancelling headphones on. So Scott will not be able to hear the questions that we ask him. But hopefully the spirits do and they give us an answer through Scott. Okay. I think that is the... The admin out of the way. So you can hear it there. And then if I. So it's that loud plus their noise cancelling. So. So then if I activate speak forward. There we go. Now it's spitting out noises. So. Okay. I'm just going to test him right now. Okay. Oh, Scott, hang on a minute, mate. We're just going to. We're just going to stop recording for a second. Scott? Yeah, he can't hear us. Okay. Fred, are you here with us yeah <laughs> right that's it i'm out okay no okay doesn't want me to be out say your name help me okay thank you scott burn burn do get a lot of fire related yeah things, we? weirdo <laughs> savage okay how many of you is there here today? Where? Here. This house. Why won't you give us a sign? Speak. Hello. Yep. 
Why do you remain here? Family. What Goodbye. The oh. fuck? Don't go yet. Don't go yet. You lied to me. Whoa, that was a long one. What is your name? Give us your name. Fred. Fuck off. No way. It's close. Are you fucking I'm actually joking? gonna cry. I've just gone chilled all over my body. Why don't you show yourself, Fred? Push something over. Who's close? Who? You said you're close. Or is there more than one spirit here? I can't believe that's that. That's actually fucked. Yeah, that's horrible. That's literally sent chills all through my body. Literally. Can you say one of our names? Be careful what you wish for, Maya. Help? Do you need help? Are we speaking to Emma now? Buttons. Buttons. There are a lot of buttons laying around the place. We'll test it one more time. Scott? Scott, we're done now. Yeah. yeah There's no fucking way he can hear us. Restaurant? Restaurant. 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 Is it the chippy I've for dinner? <laughs> Should we ask a couple are more you, and then go? Yeah. Are you happy here, Fred? People here. Yeah, we're here. We'd quite like to meet you, mate. You've got 10 seconds, Fred, and then we're cutting off the dialogue. That's a bit of shit, isn't it? Purely because we feel bad for Scott. Five seconds, Fred. Three, Anything. Two. No. Okay. okay. Call it there, then. Well, mate, that Buddy. was fucked. Where to next, Jordan? I think we break this up. We should go and do a pendulum somewhere. Yeah. yeah. What? Exactly. Is that a demon growl? <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we, Scott, what are you doing? I'm just checking the neighbourhood. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, we're ready to do the pendulum. Pete yeah. and Tom. Okay, so we're now going to do the pendulum again. And we just ask the questions and it will spontaneously swing just like that chord and there is no breeze in here hmm. what the fuck okay with Maya's camera you can see Bailey's hand you can see that it isn't moving and then with the other camera it's directly over the top of it so you should be able to see nicely where it is swinging to okay let's go yeah. there's fucking loads of bangs coming from the attic Fred are we talking to you Is there multiple people here with us right now? What the fuck? It's going to know. Yeah, I think it's going. To, yeah, it's going to know. So we're not talking to multiple. So we're talking to one individual. I was doing the spinny thing. Doesn't that mean there's multiple things trying to yeah. get through? Yeah, that's fucking wild, by the way. Like, obviously last time I only recorded this, so I didn't get a feel for the chain. But I know, for, like, hand on heart, my hand isn't moving. It's excellent, because you can see your hand in this, in this like, shot. I'm not moving yeah. at all. Your hand's not even shaking. And when you ask it questions and it stops dead, like, it's really hard to get something that's on a, like, a pendulum like this to stop dead yeah and, tapping yeah it. and when it does to change direction it's a, a surreal feeling yeah is there anything evil in this building
<laughs> nice. I mean, I guess there would be something evil as they're supposed to have the most violent poltergeist in Europe. Are you violent? Do you want to hurt us? Is that yes or maybe? Yes. It's yes. Given the chance, will you hurt us? Yes. Hmm. Do you like us? Like that. Let's just stop. That, that is that, impossible to do. Do you know what I mean? That is a is a mad feeling for it just to it's stop. Not, it's, it's now gone to no before right. you drop. Yeah, let's ask it again. Right, let me just completely just try. Look, I'm trying to stop it dead, and I can't do it. Do you like us? Let's go to no. You're going to have to do something pretty wild if you want us out of here. Do you think you can do that? Would you say that's yes? I'd say that's yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to do that? Okay. Maybe. That's weird. Were you a real person? I'm not giving much away, are you? I don't know. Maybe he's been dead for so long, he's yeah. forgotten who he is. Are you just deciding not to tell us? say, who are you? And it said unknown. Yeah. yeah look, I was, do you, look, are you just deciding not to tell us? Ooh. Well, that's fucking rank. Do you know the answer to these questions? Maybe. Yeah, a little sneaker. <laughs> Were you hung? to death. Hang on, I move then. Were you hung to death? Unknown. Unknown. Don't know a lot, do you, mate? Hmm. Yeah, he does. He does know a lot, mate. He's just decided not to tell lot. you. Okay. Are you going to give us a sign tonight? Oh, it's going to yes. Mm. No circle. No circle. Oh, so too many of you. you well, like one of the one of them one was of you. Maybe. Or, may, or maybe it's just just toying. giving all the answers because it doesn't. Yeah. It's not sure. Maybe yes, <sighs> no. Okay. Well, I guess time will tell. That's. Such a surreal feeling holding that. that you hear it? There you go, I entangled it. Yeah, that's a little I can see here. If you take it to here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's good. fine. Okay, so we're going to do the Estes method in Diane's room. This is where obviously I did my solo. George and Scott look terrified. Did you see a light? I thought I heard someone breathing out there. Out there? We have a static camera, we have the teddy bear, we have a cat toy, and we have a laser grid. And I'm just staring at that corridor, and it's disgusting, but fortunately I get to have my eyes closed in a minute. <laughs> okay, that's what I have for the joys of hearing. And then hopefully, not only will we get a dialogue going, but we'll catch something on the static cam. Here we go. Is there anything here with us now? Ruby. Okay. Is that a name? <laughs> I feel like I heard Scott again, but I think that might be in my head. Looking <laughs> <laughs> better, mate. He's tripping. Say one of our names then. Not Scott's. Yes. Why did yes. you say it like Yes, that? you did say my name. We have a bear in the hallway. Would you like to play with it? Films. 
The film's downstairs. We are filming you. Mm -hmm. Can you do something for the camera? Don't be shy. Or were you talking about the films that were made about this place? Tell me your name. Erica or America, one of the two. That was an immediate response for a name again, that's yeah. really odd. Erica. Are we right in thinking your name is Erica? Frederica? <laughs> I, don't, I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I don't know if that said beady eyes. Beady eyes. One of the dolls in... All right. Big. You're big. Mm. How tall are you? 16. I better not be 16 foot. Tell us your age. Keep hearing... It sounds like numbers. Tell us your age. As clearly as you can. Tell us your on age. On the edge. I'm sitting on the edge. Is that what you mean? He's here. Who is? Who? Sounded really panicked that did. I was like, he's here. Who's here? Don't worry about him. Speak to us. Or get him to speak to us. It says... I don't like that reaction. No. How many of you is there? Height. We asked you many times how tall you were. Are you trying to tell us that you're above Mother. us? Mother. 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 I think we pull them out because the night vision's also going low on battery. Yeah, pull them out. Yeah. Um, he starts swinging. Yeah. <laughs> that was really fucking hard that time. I could barely make anything out. Yeah. There's just so much music. I think we need to just really provoke it. I'm just trying to think how. Do something. Like, there's an empty Red Bull can there. Throw it about. You're going to be the most violent poltergeist in Europe. You're about as intimidating as a damp flannel. Give me a black eye. Like, I don't care. I'll, t I'll take a shiner for the video. Why don't you manifest yourself? We'll have a little fun scrap. I'll fight you. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. You made me the most violent poltergeist in Europe. You're a pussy. Yeah. Fuck you, Fred. Throw Bailey through the window. Do it. <laughs> Make Scott's dream come true, just preferably not so Scott is it. dying. Look at his little face. For those of you that don't know Scott, You've been up since, well, you've been up for about 48 hours. Roughly at this point, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, uh, you had to get a coach to get here from Plymouth and um, he got it very early. 1.30 was it? 1.30 yesterday. 1.20am. 20 20 over 24 <laughs> hours ago and you'd done a full day's work and stuff before that. So Scott is... Yeah. Scott's feeling it. I am feeling the uh, effects of that at this point. Yeah. yeah. No, Scott's fair. very weak at the minute, Fred. Maybe you can... Uh... Demons love Scott. That's it. <laughs> Scott's just like, hang on a fucking minute. Listen, Scott. I mean, they do. I, I can't disagree with your logic. Don't I be... Am, I am wonderful. Don't be a poo say, Scott. If you do want to have a go on me, Fred... <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm right here. That's it. Come on, he can't Ball. fight back, he's been awake. I am awake. too weak to fight back right now. <laughs> I am at your mercy. If you want to take over and possess my body, I'm right here. That's it. There you go. In you come. <laughs> Spread them cheeks, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm entirely thrilled with the idea. But... Fred, can you make Jordan wet his pants? <laughs> wet your pants, Jordan. <laughs> can't do it. Nothing can't do it. Scott. Hello. Go on, make him do something. I'm, I'm you travelled the furthest out of all of us, mate. I'd be fuming if I was you. I mean, I'm trying. He's not doing anything. He's a bit of a pussy. That's it. There you go. You've just been called out. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do, mate? What are you going to no. do? Give me a reason why we should be polite. Because at the minute, mate, you're just wasting our time. That's what I thought, mate. All right, Fred, we'll try to get you on the Estes method, son. 
That's it. Yeah, it's very cold. Okay, so we're now going into the witching hour. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> we're yes, this method. We're going to get a camera in the loft. Two EMS on the go. Nice. This is, isn't this hour, this is supposed to be like where it's Leave. blurred. Oh. Ali? Jesus Christ. Leave again. Jesus Christ. Fred, we're not leaving, mate. Where are you from? There are so many words coming through. From Norwich. Or France, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> For the first night. The fuck? Run. Um, Fred, look, mate. You can be all mouth. 100. You need to be doing things. We need some... This physical. house. Yeah. yeah, this house. Knock it about, mate. Are we talking to Fred? Well... Stay, but it was so clear. It's a bit confusing. Stay or Ten me. times. Very popular. It, it's very popular, this house, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Bailey? I heard a, like a knock. Not on the door, but in the corridor. Oh. Do you want to check it out, Skill? Really I wouldn't. Oh, oh my god. That's well, disgusting. Well, no, I just said, do you want to check it out, Scott? And she said, I wouldn't. Well, yeah. So let's check it out. You can't walk Don't in front of the light. Make <laughs> that Sorry. fucking shut me up. Let's check it with the night vision. Okay. I just don't want to do that on my limbs. Alright. Keep asking questions. Go on then. Okay. Hell no. Okay, put it back on and get it back in, mate. Right. Test. Why shouldn't they check? Fred? 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 Improvise what? More. More what? Give me answers, Fred. Or whoever we're speaking to. I don't like that there's movement. I feel like loads of things are moving around. There's it's nothing There's horrible. nothing moving around you. It's just me and you in the room. They're out Which there. Hour? Okay. What are you saying? It's just me and you in the room. Okay. I'm really on edge. You're okay. Keep going. You're good. Blowing my hair. You're blowing Maya's hair. Okay. Okay. Just be careful when you're moving around in here because it's very distorting for her. Can you move Maya's hair for us? Hi. Hi. Hello. Fred, stop pissing about now, mate. Come on, give us some signs. The car? What about the car? the car? Then touch my fucking car, though. You can beat me up, then beat my car up. Death. Death or death? Death. Oh, TH. Oh. Well, if you're going to kill one of us, Fred, get want on with it. it. Want it? Not particularly. No. I don't want death. No. This is long. It is long. I'm trying to get an answer that, you, mate. Mesters? That's weird. Shut up. Stay. Stay in. Yeah, it was staying, Fred. You need to do something. Interest. Man. Interest. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> what do you want from us? Four. There are four, four of us. Four of us. There are four. Is there anyone in particular that you're taking a liking no. to? Okay. Good. Give us a name. For you. Yeah, for yeah. us. Yes, for you, for us. Which one in particular? Give us a name. We move. No, don't move, stay here. Give us a name. Drowned? Your <gasps> dream is not. You dreamed of, yeah. I was drowned. And you drowned in the bath. I feel. I was drowned here. Who drowned? Who drowned? At the top. At the top of what? The. The. Hall. The bathroom. I'd really like. What would you really like? For you. For us to what? Go on, Fred, finish your sentences, mate. Hall. Hall. You want it to go in the hall? Over there. Over where? 
down the bottom. Downstairs? Unplug, maybe? I don't know. Plugs a lot of stuff in downstairs. In bed. You are sitting on the bed with Maya. I realise... You realise what? Fred, are you a murderer? Am I fuck? Hoover? It's definitely not related. Am I fuck? Are you actually innocent, Fred? Me? Yeah, you. You want us to share you with the world? Up. Go up. <laughs> go into the loft. You want us to go up in the loft? Fuck. Yeah. Should we do that now? What's in the loft, Fred? Tell us what's up in the loft. Nine. Nine, Nine what? what? Tell us what's in the attic, Frederick. Who are you? I'm your dead. dad. Sorry? I'm a dead man, am I? Go on, Fred, what's in the attic? Is it worth having a look? You should check. <laughs> are we going to like what we find up there? Last year? Last year, what? happened last year? Help. Fred. What's in the attic? Paul? Me. You're in the attic. You're in the attic with a pole. You're a little pole dancer, Fred. Are we going to like what we find in the attic? People. It'll... Up there. <sighs> oh. We're going to find people up there, are we, Fred? How nine. Man? Nine bodies, Fred. What's up there? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. Up. Oh. Hmm. Okay. One. I'll put her out. One. <gasps> One. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my lord, right. Maya. No. I'm telling you, Maya, you are fucking <laughs> vile. Fucking, that's ridiculous. You are vile. Oh, you're yeah, vile, was Maya. Ridiculous. It was fucking weird though. Like when it was just me and Bailey in here, I was literally. It felt like you guys were just walking around me the whole time. Like I kept having to lift my head up to make sure that you weren't there because all I could feel was like, you know when you know if you, if yeah. you close your eyes and you put your hand in front of your face, you can feel yeah. it there. Yeah, yeah. It was literally. I could feel you guys walking around me like the wind and everything. It was fucking horrible. Oh my God, that's like, is it? If, I sound like footsteps. I've had a couple of those in the last. Was that not Maya just shaking her feet? No. no. That's what I was doing. Well, okay. I guess we know what we're doing. It's like this video ends in the loft. Okay, so we're going to do another SS method in the coal shed, but it's very cramped, so it's just going to be me and Bailey. So I'm going to be asking the questions. <sighs> this is not Bailey's place, mate. <laughs> no, this is shit. How do you shut it? Uh, it just kind of just shuts. There's not a hand on the inside though. Oh, guys, can you shut us in here, please? Fred, are you in here with us? Hi. Hello. Is this you again, Fred? Come. Come. Will. Will. Is that your name? Why don't you show yourself, Fred, eh? It's just me, you and Bailey. In a coal shed. Listen. Listen for what, Fred? It sounded like it said like... Oh, no, I can't really make that out. That was a strange... Div it's like divided, maybe? Divided? This is supposed to be one of the worst rooms in the house. Apparently the father of the Pritchards was locked in here and attacked. You have that opportunity again, Fred. Why don't you take it? Watch. Now. Watch now. What am I watching? What is there to watch, Fred? 
Huh? Talk to me, Fred. What was that? What was what? Where? Speak sense. Come on. Come on, Fred. Or is this Emma? Or is this another spirit that resides in this house? Give us a sign, give us a scratch, give us a slap. Say my name. I think it said up. You really want us to go in the attic, don't you? What is up? Ever. Ever. What's in the attic, Fred? Pulse. Pulse. Is there someone in the attic? Someone alive? You got a frogger? Aurum. Aurum? What does that mean, Fred? What does any of this mean, Fred? Or should I call you Mr. Nobody? Anyone. Anyone. Uh. Uh, what, don't you like Mr. Nobody for a name? Do you prefer the Black Monk of Pontefract? Tell me your help. name. I'm not going to help you. I want you to know, I want to know your name. Let's have a trade. I'll help you if you tell me your name. Never. Never. Why? Don't. Don't? Well, don't push it. Tell me your name. Why can't I know your name? I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Demons, once you say their Anywhere. name... Anywhere. Once you say a demon's name out loud, it gets sent Steps. back... Steps. Once you say a demon's name out loud, it gets sent back Would to it? hell, doesn't it? Don't distract. What's uh, your name? What is your name? Tell me your name. Tell me your name, demon. Who are you? What are you? What? What is your name? Only. Only? No. What is your name? Give it to me now. What? War? He? War? Are you happy with us being here? No one. No one. You're happy with no one being here? Honest. Honest. What's honest about that, Fred? Listen, I'm going to give you 30 seconds and then I'm... And. And what, Fred? You're 30 seconds and then I'm cutting the communication. I think it said heard or hard, something like that. Was it hard to communicate? Difficult? 15 seconds, Fred. Clock's ticking. Anything you want to say? you got 10 seconds. Don't. Don't? Well, don't cut the communication. Well, then why don't you tell me your name? A little bit of give and take. Put. It said divide again. Divide? What does it mean? Right, you've earned yourself an extra ten seconds. What is your name? Come on. Identify who or what you are. Uh, what? It kind of, it kind of, it was kind of like a really weird, like listen, like a really, uh, yeah. Look. Give me an answer. I can't. You. Can't. Do you know who you are? What? Do you know who you are? Fucked it. What do you mean, fucked it? What do you mean? You've got ten seconds. What do you mean? Out. Drive. 
or you want us to leave? You want us to drive away? Uh, I what? just felt like breathing down my neck. Oh, fuck. Do you want us to leave? Run. Run? Th these are all words, though. I can't, like, you know, there's no physical pressure to do any of this. If you give us a solid sign, push something off of that shelf, then maybe we'll start listening. There is something breathing down my neck. There's a cold spot here. Listen. Oh my god, there is. Make. Is this you? This breathing is getting ridiculous. Are you okay? Use me. Use you? I'm getting slightly concerned for Bailey if he's getting breathed on. Wisdom. Wisdom. You are wisdom, are you? Up. Up again. All right, we're going to look in the attic. We are going to go to the attic. Ten. Touch me. Touch you? Well, I was then about to touch Bailey to bring him out of this. Three, two. Where is he? Oh, fuck off. Sorry, sorry, mate. Sorry. Are you alright? Yeah, that was vile, mate. Yeah, that was fucking grim. Did you get anything? <laughs> any answers for anything? Yeah. There was, right. there was fucking. Let's let's get get out of well, Bailey got breathed on. Like, literally non stop breathing on my neck and like cold on my left hand like literally breathing and he was like there's a cold spot right here and I there, there was a cold spot 100% yeah immediately heard a bang upstairs but don't worry about it <laughs> Hello. Is there anyone up here? What the fuck am I doing? feel very alone up here, in this house actually, because the rest of the team are napping. So you've got me all to yourself. That was me. Thank the Lord. Is there anybody up here with me? If there is, do you want to show me a sign? Make a noise or a tap. Is there anyone up here with me? Like I said, I'm here all by myself. I've heard you're very violent. Would you like to prove that? To me? There's no one up here that can help me. Okay, I'm just...
just going to sit here for a second. I'll just hope that you walk past that door. Make that rock and horse move. Add a tap in that cupboard. Okay, I'm going to go now. Scared. Oh, do you want me to sit down there? Yeah, go on. Can you come push us in, please? Actually, no, I'm going to keep my head down in case the breathing happens again. <laughs> Scott, go take a nap. Yeah. You're delusional. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to do an EVP in the coal shed. Just in there, had some breathing down my neck. So. Let's see if we get anything on this. Third time lucky. Right. You was breathing down my neck while doing the Estes method. It's my stomach again. again. Can you possibly breathe down my neck again? Can you give us any sign that you're in here with us? I can feel breathing down my neck again. Can you? What yeah. side? My left side. Is that you? Is it cold? Yeah. I can feel it as calm as well if you can feel that. Can you feel that? Can you feel like air? I can feel really cold like right next to your neck and yeah. then the other side yeah, yeah. is not cold. It's literally like here. That's so fucking weird. Is that you doing that? Third time lucky. Right. You was breathing down my it's neck so cold me right while now. doing the it's Estes so method. Fucking Can you possibly breathe down my neck again? It's like all around me. Can you give us any sign that you're in here with us? I can feel breathing down my neck again. Can you? What side? My left side. Is that you? Is it cold? Yeah. Well, I can feel it. It's cold. I don't know if you can feel that. Did you hear my voice twice then? I can feel really cold. Oh, no. I can feel it as calm as well if you can feel that. It's not cold. It's literally like here. Let me see the, the light again. I want to rewind that because I could hear my voice twice. I play from there. Can you hear my voice twice? What the fuck? Listen. It's just died. Right, okay. Cool it there. That's fucking weird. It sounded like someone else said, I don't know. That's fucking rancid, mate. Your voice 100% came through twice. I feel fucking sick. While I was speaking on that, my voice come through twice. 
over at the same time. At the same time, I, while I'm saying same, something same else. Thing. No, something different. While saying I'm two saying, separate things. Saying two separate things while I'm speaking. And it's died, so I need four more batteries so we can listen to it back. From here. Very tired. Very good. He's much. In what? It? Has... I'm st You're I'm... saying I can feel it and I don't know at the same time. Listen Did to you this. say that though? No, I don't think so. Well, well we'd well, be able to I see it on I this. Can I can feel it as calm as me if you can feel it. I can feel it as calm as me if you can feel it. How am I saying it at the same you time? You can't say two things at the same time. That is fucking horrible. I cut over myself. I interrupted I myself. That's not a thing. I interrupted <laughs> myself. <laughs> and I'm not being funny, that's not a cheap, shitty piece of equipment. This is like 300 that. pounds. Yeah, like, this is gonna fuck up like that. It's not. That is another thing that they can't think. This is a tourist attraction, it's made to be creepy. Yeah. Explain that then. Yeah, how are they yeah. gonna make Bailey interrupt himself? Finally, is this thing on? Hello? Jesus Christ, get it to work. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs. Alright, what's going on in here? Is that fucking dull? I don't like it. I don't like that one. What, the middle one? Or the little one? That one. With pin eyes or something, wasn't it? From the Estes method? Oh yeah, beady eyes. Beady eyes. Beady eyes, isn't yeah. What's going on in Who the mirror? Who were you referring to when you said beady eyes, eh? Nice. Yeah, sorry. Very gassy. Because maybe there's nothing in this room. There's been a bit of a dud in here, is it? Is it or is it the little one that's the been a dud? The little one that's been a dud. Yeah. They said the door opened on Jordan. It did. Should we try and see if the door can open on us? Yeah, let's do It'd it. It'd be pretty cool. Me and Scott have already tried to do it. But, that's might as well do it again. It? Hey? It's not Miley, is it? Miley? Us. Nah, Miley. Miley ain't done it. Alright, shut the door. As you can see, right, I just want to get it on with another camera. Right, this door, okay, does latch on. Like, I promise you, I'm putting it and opening. So, okay. You open that door for yeah, us. Yes, you open the door for Jordan when he didn't ask for it to be opened. Can you do it while being asked? Can you open the door? Just open the door. Open the door. We've seen you do it before, we know you can do it. Just open the door. Would you like a demonstration on how to open the door? So I can give you one if you would like. Okay, I'll give you a demonstration. I don't like opening doors, it's vile. Right, okay, the door is open. Hello. Nothing there. So, closing the door again. Click shut. Now open it. That's how you open it. Can you do it for us, please? Come on, you did it earlier. We know you can do it. Whoa! Oh! Okay. Thank you for opening the door, I guess. Thank you so much. That's wild. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to open it a little bit more, or is that enough? That's nuts. <laughs> right, okay. Fair play. you done as told. Well done. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to open the door now. Thank you. All the way. That is fucking wild. Oh my god. It's fucking freezing here. Oh. Like, actually freezing. Okay. Right, we said we were going to be more brave. That's it, that's wild. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Oh my god, that was amazing. That's madness, you know. I am fucking... It's actually like freezing cold right here now. 
like as soon as that door opened and it's a cold gust the temperature has been like strange throughout the night like i'm wearing a jumper now because it did get really cold during like three and four o'clock got really hot now i just had like four footsteps yeah Was that you? Can you make some footsteps in the hallway? Or in one of the rooms or even the attic? Preferably not the attic, but what was <laughs> Come on, you've wanted us to go up in the attic all night. Give us another reason to go up there. Show us you're up there. That's nuts, you know. How, you saw how much I was putting on that door, didn't you? Didn't you? That is fucking insane. I can't wait to watch it back to see right. if the handle gets moved. Right, let's go down. Okay, thank you for opening the door. We're going to go downstairs again now. Uh, just going to film the bedroom, see anything in there, no bathroom. Thank you cool. so much. Cool, right, okay, the cold spot has actually moved on now, so. Yeah, as soon as that door opened, there was an insane cold gust just come over us there. There's a thermometer, not a, uh, not a thermometer, a thermostat in the kitchen that tells you the temperature in this house. Yeah, there he is. There was a footstep on the stairs behind me. Shut up. You joking? Oh, fucking not, it was about, it was about here. Okay. I heard it. So I was on the bottom step and it was about here. Get a Polaroid camera quick. Yeah. Go and get a Polaroid. Are you on the stairs? Right now? Let's take one upstairs, see what happens, see what you get. Team Miley struck some fucking footage there, wouldn't you agree with that, team? i say that was some pretty good stuff. Listen, we're going to go straight back up. Okay, we've got the bigger camera now because the battery was dead, so we've been using the night vision camera. This door opens again. Yeah, it's we're opened. Into it's, room. Yeah, it's opened. It's opened on Jordan. It opened on us just then. Actually before, should we show what Scott and Jordan are actually doing right now? Yeah. Just first, also, please listen to how loud these stairs are. No one is sneaking down these stairs. Right. Yeah, there's isn't like... Yeah. Okay. So when that door opens, we're gonna check every room immediately. Literally, every single room immediately. So you're right. gonna know, you're not gonna hear those stairs, so they're not gonna be down here. <laughs> Well, you're going to see them, and you'll see what we mean. Okay, this is what I want to just kind of behind the scenes, guys. Okay. Scott has been out for a very long time, so he's having a little kip. Jordan is also having some shut-eye on the sofa, right? They've been there for maybe... An hour? Probably about an hour now, maybe. Yeah. Maybe half hour, half hour-ish. So, me and Maya decided to use the time that we have here and produce a little bit more investigating because you know what's the point in coming all the way here if you're not going to investigate you know what I'm saying so we're coming back up hello again we're back upstairs uh just want to say there's no one here you know I mean <laughs> you said it in the ram video uh oh there's you know there could be possibility that someone's sneaking around it's just not a possibility like, I just want to I can't Clarify enough how there is not anybody else in this house with us. It is just the four of us. The door is locked. There's and bolted. And because bolted of the because of the weirdos around here. There is no way, okay? The door is going shut, okay? I'm going to shut it again. All the way. It's shut, okay? Shut. Now, if this doesn't open again, it's going to look very sus, but... Yeah, it's such mugs. Okay. Hello. You done the door a minute ago for us. 
We just want to say thank you for that. But we just want to see it just one more time. Can you please open the door? And I promise we won't ask you to do it again. Would you like me to show you what we want again? That seemed to prompt it last time. Yeah. Okay. Just, just quickly show you what we want. Ready? Just like that, please. If you could. That would be great. Just like that. Okay. Just pop the door open again. I know you can do it. You've done it for Jordan. You've done it for us. Just push that door. Just push. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Right, okay, look, there's no one up here with us. Okay, there's no one up here with us. There's no one up here with us. Right. I mean, you hear the door. You, you hear it fucking latch shut, you know? Can you it, come in here and open these cupboards, please? Because we've got to do it, but I don't want to open them by myself. These? Yeah, just oh, in case. I didn't even know they were on Oh, he just opened again. The door just opened again. Oh my god. The door just opened again. I'm gonna stay in here so no one comes out of this cupboard. Right, look. There's no one here, man. Fair play. You've you done well, door. You've done you well. Much. Please feel free to give us explanations for it because we want them as well, okay? We're very open to explanations and theories what you guys think could be happening when these things happen to us. You know, I hope that we proved enough that we were the only two up there. Like, I don't know how many more we can prove it. You know, my hands are so the door, shaky. The door is shut. You saw how much Maya was pushing on it, like... I was literally banging. I was going like that. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure Carol's not going to be too happy about me doing that, but... <laughs> Let's go. I fell asleep. I was fucked, but we still need to find out what is in the attic. So we're gonna unlatch it and pop this in and give it a spin and see if what the Estes method has been saying has any weight behind it. So yeah, let's go and check out what's in the attic, shall we? So I'm guessing it's one of these ones we have to push up and then push across. slide sideways. Here we fucking go. Right. Oh my god. I can't get rid of this. Why is this on? Yeah, is it yeah. Recording? Just recording? Yeah. Okay. You up there, Fred? I'm not looking forward to reviewing this. <laughs> I just heard something up there. Can you make a noise in the attic? You've been wanting us to come up here all night. Okay, well, good, because I want to show this, I'm so scared. <laughs> well, we did the attic. There'll be people being in the comments like, you and when they come up there. I don't actually think I could fit through this hatch. No. Look forward to reviewing that footage. Obviously, you would have seen it as it was up there, but yeah, that's scary. Right, let's see what Fred was banging on about. So, Myra's just realised, because well, we're packing up, we're going to do a spirit box before we leave, but before we pack up first. Looking at the doll, Susie, or whatever her name is. A button. There's a button. And obviously Scott, in his Estes method, said button. Buttons. And it's right next to the There's doll. actually a button right there. Okay, so I would say that today has been a very successful investigation. It's been incredibly fun and to top it off, we're going to do a spirit box. So basically the Estes method without the headphones. So we're going to play it out loud. We're going to ask some questions and we're just going to kind of say goodbye and be like, don't follow us home. And then we have to get cycle. Okay. 
freshly looked in your attic. Yeah, I'm glad we looked through your attic. Is there anything that you want to say before we go even to the audience at home? Yes. 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 Yeah. What, what do you want to say? Interest. Uh, interest. It's quite interesting. Oh. Uh, that sounded Oof. like my fucking voice. That did sound like my voice. Uh, yeah. What is it you say that? Oh. Obviously, down in the comments, if you can pick out any words, do let us know. Yeah. That sounded like Scott. Scott. Yeah. Did you hear it? That did sound like Scott. I heard it, but I don't like that. That did sound like that Scott. Did sound like and that just sounded like it said Scott. Well, right, anyway. No. Scott, we've been here before. We did this again. You're all right. That's there is you again. again. Sounded like Ben. Why do you mimic Scott all the time? You were obviously at the Angel Ram in as well, so what the fuck are you? Who are you? That sounded like Scott. That sounded like... That sounded like it said something like, like This is your final chance to say something. Good. Alright, you've got 30 seconds and then we're going. So... Last chance, the floor is yours, say whatever you like. That sounds like Scott. It does. It just keeps sounding like Scott. It's pretty weird. I thought I just said stay. Yeah, it's going to like stay, please. Can you mimic Jordan's voice? Right, seriously now, 10 seconds, what you got, and then we are packing up. Stay. No, stay. Yeah. Alright, well, well, we were going anyway at this point, so we're going to close off the communication now. That's it. You've had your opportunity for the last 12 hours. You've taken some opportunities. And, uh, yeah, thank you, I guess, Fred. It's been an experience. And um, you don't have permission to follow us, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't have permission. Not that, that I don't think that you would. You're bound to this location. You are indeed. Right, yeah, cut it off. And goodbye. Goodbye, Frederick. <laughs> So there we go guys, that has been 30 East Drive, it has been quite the experience. What did you guys think? Again, if you want to win the signed Polaroid, put down below what was the creepiest part of this video. Like the video, subscribe, share it around and we will be picking one of you to win a signed Polaroid. Thank you so much. Shout out again to the patron of the day, Bradley Corey. If you want to become a patron, which actively supports this content right here for as little as one pound a month as well as loads of bonus content and behind the scenes stuff it's the link is down below in the description thank you so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed hit that like button and subscribe and stuff before we sign off though bailey in one sentence oh god 30 east drive Fucking nuts, mate. <laughs> nice. Scott, in one sentence, 30 East Drive. Really draining. And Maya, in one sentence, 30 East Drive. Fucking mental, mate. <laughs> nice. There we go. That was 30 East Drive. We'll see you in another haunted location very, very soon. Sweet one. Yes. Oh, yeah, and I just remembered. If you could name the doll... That would be awesome. Hey, don't let anything attach it to you when we leave, all right? Thanks.